Purge, welcome to one of my favorite attractions here at Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex, the Rocket Garden. These are all rockets that were designed and made go into space. Real rockets, Purge. It's incredible. What, can you tell me about any of them? You okay, know so I learned a lot last time. That one is the Red Mercury back there. That is the first rocket to break free of the oppressive gravity of Earth and make it into space. That's, that's impressive. There was actually a lone man in that capsule in the top that went through the atmosphere purge right there, same one. But all these rockets here, you know, you can walk around, you can go and look at the engines, you can go and walk and get really close to them, you can go inside the actual capsules, and it's hard to convey with the kind of scale that we can do on the camera, but it is absolutely massive and incredible. It looks pretty, the capsule looks pretty big up there. Are they, are they comfy? Let's go find out. Follow me. This right here is the Gemini, and this is the capsule of the Gemini. Now, I was here last time with a, a wonderful lady who would not go into the capsule with me. I'll join. You know why it's called Gemini, probably? Because there's that? two people, I guess. That's right. That That's right? exactly right. Correct? Great she's, guess. She's too smart. So, two uh, weeks someone spent in this capsule, Kurt. It's really not that bad. It's basically like playing a pub game with you. Yeah. It's like trapped together. It's basically yeah. two techies games. Let's oh, go God. Inside. Is this really? You know, I really assumed there was going to be more space in here when I walked up and saw from the outside. These chairs are real close. I like how they have a slant. That's in the middle. They have a slant to hopefully prevent your, your seatmate from bumping into you. <laughs> Dude, they slept in here. How would you sleep for two weeks in here? I, All right. This way. I, I know. Sleep right. No, you, you give it away. Oh, well. Right? Yeah. I think I would do it like, yeah, yeah, something like this. This yeah. is actually not too bad. Oh, God, you're that's my crotch. <laughs> Well, that can work for, for at least an hour, but then I'm gonna get to force you to get up. Please get up. Interstellar. Please first. just push the lanes. <laughs> All right, get it over. You. <laughs> and to just show you guys a little bit about scale, here is one of the most impressive ones in the Rocket Garden. This is the Saturn 1B. You see those red things at the back? Those are eight of the red Mercuries that we looked at earlier. It is freaking huge, buddy. They just slapped them on there, man. <laughs> so like, what's better than one rocket? Just clump them together. Eight. You ever do that with like bottle rockets or something like that? Uh, this is super interesting. It's one of the last kinds of these left on the planet. This is an actual rocket that went up several times. I think more than five space missions. And she is right here for our viewing. You can go up and get so close and it's just gigantic. One of the many like, things I love here. You can touch it with my eyes. You can touch it with your eyes. You can smell it with your nose. True. You could almost touch it with your hands, but yeah, don't you do that. Smell it? No, you, let's go smell let's go it. Smell it. Yeah. There they are, the eight rockets. You can still smell the exhaust from space. Ah. You smell space? Yeah. What's up with the engine configuration? It's interesting. It looks like the, the rockets can be repositioned in terms of their output directionality so that it rotates maybe. That's what it looks like to me. Yes. Does it look like that to you? Absolutely, probably, sir. You know why they probably do that? Because it creates centrifugal motion, or you know, like spins. It's like when you're riding a bicycle and it's really hard to like turn your steering wheel. It's because the wheel's spinning. Maybe it's like that. I'm probably. I might not. Yes. Be right, but... It's absolutely. Is that it? Centrifugal motions centrifugal. to put it into the space. Yeah. Exactly. Like a drill. Beautiful. And here we are at one of the most awe-inspiring and amazing experiences at the Kennedy Space Center. We have the real shuttle Atlantis Purge. This bad boy went in the space and back many a times, and you can see the real thing get real close, and it's just something I never forget. What do you think, buddy? It is hard to pay attention to anything you're saying normally, but here it's even more difficult <laughs> because this thing is so cool. It is so big too. You, you think it's not going to be that large, right? Yeah. Even though you see it parked on top of airplanes, but like when you're here in person, especially this close to it, it's just so massive and interesting. And I, like the burn marks and stuff, I made this joke yesterday, but like yeah. cosplay artists would, would love to be able to detail things this nice. It is like, Everything just blends nicely. There's just atmospheric burn marks. The, 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 these are, I assume, for like maneuvering and stuff like that. Like shoots yeah. jets out to, because in zero G you can't fly like a normal airplane. Yeah. So there's just so many cool things. It's like you can see the engineering just built into it. I mean, it it's is so interesting. It's incredible that this actual space shuttle was in space. Flew many missions. Some of the astronauts that we've talked to here were on this bad boy piloting it. And you can come see it 
live and it, it is truly breathtaking uh, and it's very hard to convey on camera the majesty of this bad boy. So you gotta come see it yourself, but yeah, it is uh, pretty cool, man. It's like the real thing. I'm suspended. You know, I thought it was going to be less scary the second time, but I'm equally scared. It feels like there's nothing below me except this little baby sprinkler here. Oh, oh God. I just thought about the ground again. It's bad. These children are not scared. I am. One small step for man or something. Makes it through the tube! Okay, that feels like it's taking very much away. Go! I don't think it can take this much away. Go! Only one of us makes it through the tube! Come on out. Yo, we have to get back! Get me out. There's only one way! What if it cracks? Get out of here. Is this a bell for you? Go! Squeeze by! No way. Squeeze by! Oh, you're out of my way! Before Alright, come back. Come back. You're confusing the children. Get out. Because he was up to me, The tube! So there is the Space Shuttle Atlantis Center. It was a lot of fun. What'd you learn, Fire? Did you have a good time? I had a very good time, Tom. Everything we saw has lots of history in it. It's all based in scientific foundations and uh, engineering and things like that that are really awesome. You get to see the things in person that have been to space and back. There's just so many cool things to see. That's right. And the coolest thing we'll see you lose to me on this slide. The coolest thing is you losing to me. Wow, me very winning. creative. First one down with three, two, one. <laughs> it's about distance. It's about distance. That's yeah. not about distance. Yes, it it's is. about first person land. He counted which down. I did. It's cheating. I was like a Jamaican bobsled, baby. Flat, not a sound. Yeah, and you didn't make it to the finish line. I did make it to the finish line. You didn't. Line. I was like, I had a good foot on Photo you. Photo finish. We'll, she, we'll see who won with the editor. We Don't need, worry about it. We need somebody else to count down. That, that was just, that wasn't fair. We need to redo this. Redo. We're going back. <laughs> You anticipate me, you see her. It's about distance. <laughs> it's about who gets it first. Why would it be about distance? Did you guys see that? She was like, three, two, one, go. He's already launching. <laughs> That's true. It was perfect timing. It's like Mario Kart. We'll see you one on the editor. It's me.